good morning from Nebraska. We uh, are at, uh, let me look at my mom workers here. We're at Walmart in Lex Lexington, Nebraska, 237 on 80. They provide truck parking. And it is a truck parking zoo right here today. Some of these guys, man, I mean, this Walmart is very generous to let us uh, utilize their parking lot. I'll tell you what, a couple bull wagons have been in here. And the place really stinks today. It's pretty bad. Uh, but anyway, there's trucks all over this place, man. They're all up front, they're on the other side. Seen the likes of such, it's crazy. Uh, but truck parking anymore is getting to be a rarity, I guess, in some parts of the country. That's pretty hard. The further east I go, the worse it gets. We came in here and got our refrigerator restocked and uh, back in the lunch business. Sorry, sir, but I gotta stop this stuff, sir. So we are back in the lunch meat business and uh, fruit business. So, good. Hopefully, our next major stop will be the Iowa 80 uh, truck stop. I know it's about half, and I have 900. I'm just making 500 to start the way. I don't really know if we'll spend the night there or not. We uh, need to push on probably an hour or so beyond that. We'll see how we do today. I definitely will stop there and look for some stainless to go on these um, battery box, step boxes. Uh, I've got a guy at home that's going to put stainless on fuel tanks. And then we will always be shiny. So, but anyway, I just wanted to give you an update this morning from Nebraska. They have a truck plugging in a Walmart, which is kind of rare. We'll go back out to here and go back to Rooster Cruising. That big, large car. You guys have a good day. Be careful and enjoy your. Weekend. First time you see this. Turn left on to Lion East. Uh, weekend anymore. I still have to double check my audio. Sorry guys, I've been busy driving. Uh, I think I got 690 miles in yesterday. And, uh, just have to stay in it every day. I had time to play with the uh, videos or edits. Just been working. Working like a dog, trying to get to Pennsylvania. It's a long ways to Pennsylvania from Stockton, California. So, hopefully we'll deliver this on Tuesday. See how our hours of service are. We've got the hours to make the load home, because we are going home. It's my last week on the road for a while. We'll be back home, go back, relax. Cut some tree limbs. It seems like I'm always cutting tree limbs. And uh, clean the house last time I was on, did cut out the floors, mop, waxed floors, dust all the furniture. So Continue 208 miles of 9 east. Got all the dust bunnies out of the, that one of the beds. So the inside of the house is clean. Now we got a, a couple of uh, shrubs at home that have died. So right time of year or not, we need to replace shrubs, replace the rose bush, and uh, so just kind of junk out to do, you know, on the ground to Harley, so uh, that's that. But anyway, we'll see you guys in a bit.
Yes, we'll do it. We will uh, see you guys and uh, all come to See ya. Well, we are almost to uh, the world's largest truck stop. And uh, you guys think about that camera position. I think it's showing too much of the hood, but now we didn't glue that mount to the bash pad. Of course, I can go back to use my head strap. And uh, oh, we might alternate back and forth. By the time you guys give me an answer, uh, this video and the next one or two will already be produced with a dash mount. We'll probably run this through uh, all the way to Pennsylvania this way. Actually makes my job a little bit easier. I can say I can pick my nose if I want to. You guys can't tell. I'm eating my burgers or not. But anyway, we are uh, about 10 miles from the world's largest truck stop, which now has uh, 900 parking spaces. I guess they've added a few. Uh, and it's about it's 6 o'clock local time, so we shouldn't have any trouble finding the parking space. I think we're just going to go ahead and spend the night there. We have about an hour and a half uh, longer we can drive, but we have three on it, you know. We'll just uh, hang out here. Look at all the pretty chrome accessories and chicken lights. Get some dinner. We rarely eat. We just go to bed hungry. So anyway, this is what Iowa has looked like all the way across. Not much of anything but cornfields. Lots of corn. Now whether this is eating corn or uh, corn for is it what you make E8, E85, whatever it is? I don't know. Could be, uh, could be corn oil. They can do all kinds of crap with corn, can't they? Grain, they do everything with corn. Corn's, corn's a big staple. Anyway, okay, we'll see you in a, in a few miles. Get back to the house. have a contest with all you can do with corn. Some chicken feed, uh, cattle feed, uh, fuel, cooking oil, uh, you can eat corn, that corn cob, cream corn, oat kernel corn, fried corn, Popcorn. So what else we got? Come on guys, work with me. You're not thinking.
seat and go. Three miles. See you in the parking lot. Okay, well, here we go. We're going in. Oh, we don't get lost. I have, uh, I've been here several times. I think I've only spent the night a couple times. I would love to come here and uh, take a 34 hour reset sometime. The, um, they have the truck museum here. Turn left and, onto the uh, ramp, ramp right. left onto the ramp to I 80 East. Which I have never visited. And, well, there's no traffic. Where's all the traffic? Uh, a buddy of mine was telling me that there's a country country cooking place across the road over here the same side as the uh, pilot is on. Might be that grandma's kitchen right there. Said they had the best pork chops in the world. I don't think I'll venture off across the road today, but turn left onto Y80 West. Maybe sometime. I will uh check it out. Oh, they moved their driveway. The trucks used to go in right here. This is that jake break. Man, they're building on too. Wow. This place is getting to be uh, outrageous. So, yes, I hear you guys uh, asking me to take you inside. No, I am not going to take you inside. I wonder how much that's under construction, if it's going to phase the, uh... No, I don't guess it is. It's, looks like there's adding a bunch on. That's wild. So, if you want to see... Anyway, the museum's right here on our left. If you want to see, uh... The world's largest truck stop, I mean, it is been video so many times you uh, wouldn't believe it. So just go up there to the search bar and Google uh, or not Google but go to the search bar on YouTube and uh, type in world's largest truck stop and you will see this is on there uh, several times. Should have parked up right there. And there's a real good spot to park in. Look at that. I should, I should uh, spin around and go over and get that spot. I could have backed all the way up in that hole. Uh, I usually park right over here. They can not use it on the spot right here. Right here in front of the deal. But So yeah, just put in the search bar world's largest truck stop and I promise you you will you will uh, find all the YouTube videos you wanna you wanna see. Come on little skinny dude. You're welcome. You're probably one of my subscribers say you call me a skinny dude. Well you are a skinny dude. You're a skinny white dude. Well, anyway, yep, the front row is uh, is full today. So much for that idea. So that's the hard thing finding finding a parking spot. Now these 900 available, you know. I need a handicap sticker. I got a handicap sticker. I can park right there. We'll ride around. Look at all the trucks in here, you know. Look, there's a couple of swift trucks over here. I could nose right in there by that swift truck. Yep. And there's a nice little spot too. Well, let's go down this way. You guys want to park next to a reefer?
carry out my chrome all that far, you know what I mean? It's not, it's just how to you go pretty Peterbilt and uh, and a drive box. All these spaces around here, I choose to park between two trucks. You know? Actually, no, I'm going to go right here to the end. Check this out. Easy, man. Try to pick the easy ones. That way, when the guy beside you comes in, he doesn't have to set up. So I just pull right here. So there's one out there next to that one open too, but it's too close to the corner. So that way, the guy that parks beside me on my right, all he's got to do is do a pull up and straight back like I'm doing right here. And he is, uh, doesn't have to take my hood off. And see, we're right here, buttoned up against the uh, front row of the door. So we buy all our chrome and accessories. Not that far to walk. And uh, plus, right here, my feet is going downhill. So this should be a really nice spot. Indeed, I like it. Did good there, Mr. Truck Driver. Picked out a good spot. Anyway, so now we just got to go uh, buy some chrome. Anyway, I'm kidding. I'm not really going to buy any chrome. I need a, I need some rings for my... Got to make sure I don't bump that guy behind me. I need some new chrome rings for my mud flap hangers back there. Those kind that are on it, they just... And they go up on there and they, they uh, come off. So, I need to buy some kind of to screw in there. But anyway, there was your short parking lot tour. Six o'clock, got all the parking spots in the world open. So, let's go shopping. See ya. Well, we went into the uh, highway and did some shopping. I started ripping up my packages before I uh, thought about it. So we got this little chrome ring that goes around the navigational screen. See how all these are chrome bezels? And that was it. So, and that just goes on there. I don't know. It kind of finishes up the look. It might be too much, you know. And then I noticed they had a smaller one, and I jumped out what it was. It got here with the truck, and it's, it goes right there. So I'm like, "Oh yeah!" So we're gonna we're gonna go back and get that one. I'm not gonna go crazy in chrome. They got a whole chrome kit, but it's got all. I mean, it's too much. These these chrome bezels are enough, you know. I mean, sure you get into doing, doing the rocker switches, and, and I wouldn't mind doing them, you know. But then you get into the Vents. I mean, where does, it, where does it stop, you know? Well, they got chrome wheel knobs. <clears throat> but anyway, so we got these mud flap hangers, anti cell brackets for the front mud flaps and the fender because my mud flaps are flying back and hitting my light panel. But these don't work, so I'll take these back, trade it for that piece there. And, and uh, I got these chrome rings that go on our mud flap hangers on the rear and there's the phone. I don't know where we was at. We were talking about the mud flap rings, the chrome bezel goes around those uh, lighted mud flaps. They, I can't keep them on there. So these kind of the little screws hopefully they'll fit. But anyway. So yeah, we're gonna take these anti-cell brackets back and uh, go from there. See ya. You guys remember that uh, creek truck that pulled in last night or i'm sorry pulled in yesterday y'all hear that wait a minute these freight liners man got hollows all night and then it goes into region mode you can't sleep next to that hang on let kick up My windows are up. This is a pretty well insulated truck. And uh, what 
dadgummit. There it is. Y'all hear that? I'll give you a better representation. Crazy. All right, I'm out. Huh. My 10 hour breaks up anyway. Go ahead and fight this fog. Let's get her done. Good morning. <clears throat> My little chrome ring is uh, hiding part of my screen. But anyway, we're going to get this day started. And I'll uh, go left handed here. And uh, navigation. Uh, that's the route we're going to take, but I just did this a minute ago. That's why it's on there. But push alternate. So the blue line is the original. Which is uh, the shortest, 727 miles, 14 hours. But it runs me to skirt Chicago. It runs uh, the tow road all the way across Indiana, uh, Ohio, and down into Pennsylvania. So we're going to choose this green line, which is uh, 770 miles, 15 hours. It drops us down uh, 74 to 70, and we'll run 70 all the way across and pick up uh, 76 over here. So we just have a little bit of toll there. So that's the way we're going to go. That's powered by Copilot versus the Garmin. But anyway, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem because I actually got the same buttons here, and I can push home radio and it changes that and it goes settings on the radio and it changes it so uh, technically it won't I mean I can still touch them so and I, you just gotta use your, your uh, thumbnail you know so but we look cool right anyway let's get this day started that's our routing for today. Just put a buddy of mine over here. To turn right on North Palm Street and turn right. Exit 174 in Illinois. This brand new Peterbilt Steve ride. I should have videoed it. But I did not. 